Brewster, and you may have seen his father, Willie G. Brewster, if, you, if you've been around Knoxville for a while. He was uh, a good friend of Carl Butler's, and they got started out in radio together here in Knoxville in the 1930s. Well, Paul's got a new video out with the Daniel Grindstaff Band and uh, uh, a lady from uh, Sevier County that you might have heard of. Her name is Dolly Parton, and this just hit number one on the bluegrass charts. And this is a beautiful rendition that Paul and Daniel Grindstaff and Dolly have put together. I'd just like to play this for you.
the band behind that record, and, and like just a couple of days ago, it hit number one on the bluegrass charts. Number two was another young man, Wyatt Ellis, right here. Y'all know Wyatt? He's a 14-year-old prodigy and the youngest guy I've ever seen to have his own museum exhibit back there. If you go back, you'll see a little collection of Wyatt's uh, memorabilia and Sonny Osborne's mandolin, the very one, or Bobby, I'm sorry. They played uh, uh, in Knoxville during the 50s, right? It's, uh, that's a really great single. Um, I'd like to say one more thing. Um, this bass right here, was played on many recordings uh, at the Capitol Records studio, including all of Carl and Pearl's records. This very same bass it was over Columbia in Flat Scruggs. There's a fellow named Joe Zinkin, right? He was a session musician in Nashville. And uh, this is Kent Blanton, by the way. He's got his own legend going on. Played Marty Stewart. Um, gosh. Jesse McGrones. We got an all-star cast here. This is Paul Brewster and Friends. And yeah. 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 All right, hey, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. We really appreciate you. you having us over here. And Thank you. Uh, to the Butler family, which I don't know, but uh, uh, Carl, of course, grew up a little bit with my dad back in the late 30s, and they played a little bit together. But uh, a lot of hits, so much history here in Knoxville. And uh, I don't know if, if you, has everybody here been to the Historical Society here, East Tennessee Historical Society? Everybody, there's, I guess everybody has. But if you, you need to go through it, there's a lot of new stuff here too. But uh, I, I appreciate Bradley inviting us to come up here and play for y'all. And, and some of the best players in the country right here. Uh, and of course, you just introduced Wyatt and uh, Ellis and uh, John Meter here on the, on the guitar. And uh, Stephen Burwell here on the fiddle, they play in a group called Authentic Unlimited. If you haven't heard them, you need to get their record. They're fantastic, the best you've ever heard. And uh, of course, Daniel Grindstaff right here is, is the uh, player on the uh, and the star on the, <laughs> on the on this record, Forever Young, which is good, which is great. And of course, Kent Blank back here on the back. And then we we decided to get together and play a few songs for you, if you if you could be patient with us a little bit. We'll try to do uh, we'll try to do some for you for you. With, uh, I hope I don't mess up, but uh, of course I'm not playing anything, but I can mess up pretty good. You know, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do some stuff for you here. We hope you enjoy it. We're going to start out with uh, uh, a song that uh, was on the Knoxville grass. If y'all remember the Knoxville grass, we did. Uh, thank you. We did. Uh, we recorded some good stuff back in the day, back in the mid '70s. But uh, this is uh, one of our hot ones. This was one of you. This was your big one, wasn't it? That's Larry King. That's a Larry King, Ricky Skaggs joke right there. This is your big one, Rick. But uh, this was our big one here in Knoxville. So it's called Darby's Castle. <laughs> See the room on the hill where the smoke is hanging still, like an echo of an angel. There's a story of a home crushed beneath those blackened stones and the roof that fell before the beams were run. See, so Darby loved his wife and he labored all his life to provide her with material possession. And he built for her a home of the finest wood and stone and the building soon became his sole obsession. Oh, it took 300 days for the timbers to be raised And the silhouette was seen for miles around And the gables reached as high as the eagles in the sky But it only took one night to bring it down When Darby's castle tumbled to the ground Though they shared a common bed There was precious little Moments that were set aside for sleeping. Though his busy dreams were filled with the rooms he had to build, and he never heard young Helen Darby. Then one night he heard a sound as he laid his pencil down, and he traced it to her door and turned the hand. And the bell light of the moon through the window of the room split the shadows where two bodies. Oh, it took 300 days for the timbers to be raised 
miles around And the gables reach as high as eagles in the sky But it only took one night to bring it down When Darby's castle tumbled to the Thank you very much. We appreciate that. This is very under well. We rehearsed a little bit, but, <laughs> but anyway, we're going to do. Uh, we're trying to do a song here that uh, Carl uh, Carl Butler did. Uh, it was written by Carl and uh, so about three or four other people. But uh, it's a great song. We hope you enjoy it. It's called "Ride My Heart Out Over You." chair in the house but anyway uh we're gonna do uh we're gonna feature white Ellis. if you if you've never heard this boy play you need to look him up he's a he's a i guess you would call him a prodigy he is a prodigy he can play he can play piano also and guitar and fiddle and what else do you play white just mandolin guitar fiddle piano yeah, okay, just what I said, okay. I thought you might play a xylophone too, I didn't know. But anyway, he's got, this, is, this is a song I wrote uh, that we recorded. I recorded this with Ricky back uh, a few years back. And uh, it was done with, uh, it was a song I wrote about Bill Monroe. And uh, we did it with, uh, Jim Mills played the uh, finger style picking Merle Travis guitar lick on it. And we did it on an album uh, called Soldier of the Cross. I don't know if somebody might have that, but uh, why it's going to, I always wanted to do it with a mandolin. 
because I wrote it for Bill Monroe and uh, uh, it's about him going to church and waiting at the gate and uh, but uh, uh, Wyatt's going to sing on this and he's going to play the Bill Monroe mandolin style I always wanted on this we hope you do it's called waiting at the gate on a Bill Monroe mandolin too this mandolin is only two serial numbers away from from Bill's so it's pretty cool that's very cool that's very cool we hope you enjoy this song for you right now that, that uh, I, I, I used to do this with my dad at church uh, many years ago, Morning Star Baptist Church and uh, our pastor Buck Ledford, I don't know, some of you might remember Buck Ledford, oh, yeah. remember Buck? Yeah, <laughs> great preacher and uh, and he used to play music back in Knoxville here before he became a pastor and anyway he pastored several churches around uh, before he did uh, ended up at Morning Star Baptist Church in Maryville, Tennessee and uh, he wrote this song right here. It's been recorded by several people in bluegrass music. And it's a, it's a beautiful song. It tells a good truth, uh, the, the, the main truth uh, about Christ and uh, what he did for us. And uh, I say it's been recorded. I think Doyle also maybe recorded this and several other people recorded it. It's called What a Wonderful Savior is He. Thank you. 
broke the chains of Satan setting me free. What a wonderful Savior is He. What a wonderful Savior is He. What a wonderful Savior to me. Just as simple as a sinner could be. What a wonderful Savior is He. What a wonderful Savior is He. What a wonderful Savior to be. guys right now on a on a great instrumental song that they all tear up and they're great players give these guys a hand right here thank you very much Kent, Kent came from Nashville and all these other boys and uh, they're they're doing this they're doing this for nothing this is this is we just want to do it for the we are to do it. <laughs> well, Oh, it's, it's really an honor to be here with you, Paul. We're having a blast, brother. Folks, that's one of the finest uh, finest singers to any song I've ever heard right here from Knoxville. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'll pay you your share later. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> no, just kidding. But uh, we've enjoyed it. The, the, if, you, if you've never been through the year, I, I think I saw a few hands. You need to go through uh, the East Tennessee Historical Society. It's so good and so great. It's a, it's a lot better than than uh, than just us. There's a lot of history here in Knoxville. There's a uh, there's a lot there's a lot of lot of special things that uh, that you've probably never seen before. You need to see it if you haven't had a chance to see it. So we're gonna uh, do another couple songs for you right here. We're gonna feature the guys on the <coughs> instrumental right here. A great instrumental. Uh, okay, we're gonna do we're gonna do this. They decided to do this. It was called Daybreak in Dixie. Hope you enjoy.
We'll let you know why. <laughs> this, this, keep, keep your eye on this kid because he, he's going to be really, uh, he's great now, but he's, you'll, you'll remember, see, I remember seeing that kid. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we're going to feature uh, John on a song that, uh, that's a, an old Ralph Stanley tune that we hope you enjoy. Call oh, rank stranger. Hope you enjoy. Paul Brewster Day? Yeah. Yeah, did you didn't know it? I did. Just now you know. Every day is Paul Brewster Day. I've got a proclamation on behalf of the uh, people of the city of Knoxville by uh, Mayor India Kincannon to publicly recognize this October 6th as Paul Brewster Day. Oh, wow. For, yeah. Right. I've been a fan of this guy since the Knoxville Brass in the 1970s, all your years with the Osborne Brothers and 
the many years that you played with Ricky Skaggs, uh, you were born into uh, country music royalty with the Brewster Brothers, of course your father Willie G, um, the education that you continue to provide others, including this young man here, Mr. Wyatt Ellis. Um, the teaching is a wonderful thing to pass this on to a new generation. An excellent musician, sharing skills, knowledge. We like to take this opportunity um, during the East Tennessee History Center exhibit. They sang what they live, the story of Carl and Pearl Butler, to join music lovers all over the world and say thank you for the music, Paul. Thank you. I appreciate you. We all appreciate you. Thank you. So every October 6th in Knoxville's Paul Brewster Day. Don't forget that. We'll celebrate. Whew. I'll leave this here for you. Okay? Maybe I'll pick up my key. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. Sorry. I'm trying to be funny. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I never was. Either. You got it. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to do, uh, I guess, one more, two more, two more, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do this one and then another one, but uh, we're going to do this one, I did this, uh, I, I was fortunate to do this with, with Ricky for many, many years and uh, get a lot of requests for it, and uh, we hope you enjoy it, it's called Kentucky Waltz. Yeah. 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 That's all right.
Hope y'all enjoyed the night. Carl Butler and Carl and Pearl the Butler. Group. And uh, ask the families, can the families stand up over there? We didn't see you, but I think they recognize you. Stand up over there. Yeah. There you go. Congra congratulations. Okay, we got one more here. We hope you just call Big Spy Cameron. And thank you all for coming out tonight. Uh, if you'd like a book, they're still for sale in the back. And uh, the exhibit will be open for just a